Today, we're learning how to upload videos directly to your application. This could be particularly beneficial so that you can remove the branding from YouTube or Vimeo if you had previously been um, just embedding videos. If you wanna upload your own videos or have your users add their own videos to your app, a really good solution is to have, have the ability to upload it directly. So let's talk about how to do this. And this recently became possible with a new update that Bubble made where we can now upload files uh, without that are really large, up to five gigabytes without lots of, of headaches that previously uh, we were encountering. So once you are in your Bubble Editor, what you wanna do is go into your the app editor and go into versions and then make sure that you're on the most recent version. And as you can see here, it says file upload element now allows up to files of, of five gigabytes rather than the old pretty small limit of 50 megabytes. So do that and make sure you've upgraded your account. That's the first step. Then the next thing we want to do is go down into the visual elements and you want to add a file uploader to the page. So click on file uploader, drag it, draw it out on the page how you like. Uh, and that's where you're going to upload MP4 files. And I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. Uh, you're going to also need a new, uh, a new way to display those video elements. And this is something that we can only do once we're on a paid subscription, uh, unless you want to build your own video integration. But I would recommend the fastest way to do this is to upgrade to a personal plan on Bubble and then to acquire the following plugins. So you want to get HTML5 video player. So you want to click add plugins and search for uh, search video or HTML5 and you, you'll see it. So down here, HTML5 video player that's by Bonko apps. So you want to install that, purchase it for $60, or you can uh, test it out first, make sure it's, it's what you want. I highly recommend that versus doing the integration yourself. Uh, but if you don't have, uh, have money right now, then um, you could look into doing something different, but we're gonna go with this plugin today because it's the fastest way to get this done. So once you've, at, once you've installed that plugin, what you want to do is go down to, uh, go up to HTML5 video player. You wanna draw that out on the page. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this video player is gonna reference what we're saving as a file. So what I've done here is I've set this up. So I added another button, which is essentially telling the app to save the file that we just uploaded. So I, I drew a button on the page and then click on this button. Let's check the workflow, what's going on right now. So in our database, there's a, there's a object called file. And under that there, I added a new field called, whoop, new field called file search for data type file and then at create that. And then I also added some tag, a tag, which is just text. And that's just so I know what kind of file this is. And I want to differentiate this file from maybe like another area where users will upload PDF or something else. I want the, I want to know internally that this is an MP4 file. This is a video file. So that's what I've done. I've added a tag and this tag is just going to say video. So what, what's happening when save video is, is clicked is I'm doing data, create a new thing and I am looking for file. So pull up file and I go file is equal to file uploader A's value. And then tag, I just set some static text again. So it's static text to say video. So let's go back to say video. Uh, and then clicked on reset relevant inputs. So, uh, so that once this is uploaded, this will be able to, I'll be able to upload something again. Uh, the next thing that I did just so we let users know while we're uploading a bigger file, because, uh, cause it's going to take a little bit of time to upload a file, um, that's larger than 50 megabytes. And you want to have some kind of way to notify users that, Hey, look, this is working. It's uploading. Just please be patient shortly and, and it'll be done briefly. And so what I did here is I added the progress bar. So you want to go into plugins again and you can find another app called progress bar. So search for progress uh, and then progress bars right here. It's by bubble. So you want to click install that uh, and then you want to draw that on the page. So in here I went uh, under progress bar is, is under here in the list of things. It's, there we go, progress bar right there. Draw that on the page. And then what you wanna set as the percentage here is you wanna say file uploader A's 
upload percentage. And that's going to tr going to expand as the file is being uploaded. And then I added some text here. I got this from uh, actually a GIF and it's I basically just downloaded this online. So it's, I looked up for, lo I looked up loading GIFs. So I'll just show you uh, how I got this. It's actually from loading.io and I, I won't get, I don't want to stray too much off topic here. Um, but basically I created I, I downloaded a GIF from here. And then once you've downloaded a GIF, is you can just upload it like any regular photograph. So I clicked on image and I drew this image out on the page. And then I clicked on upload and I found that, that GIF that I done, that GIF file I downloaded and added it into here. And as you can see, this is an image uh, container, just like I just drew on the page. And I just uploaded the, uh, the static image, which essentially is, is the GIF. So that's showing. The final thing is I didn't want to show all this when uh, the user, when nothing's loading. So I wanted to wait until something was loading. And thankfully we also have access to that, uh, that state with, uh, within bubble. So what we can do is I group together this loading text and this, this, uh, loop. So control click, both of them left click. And then I group those two together and then I clicked on the group, which essentially I'm going to label this group loading. And went into the conditional and I said, you know, I don't, first of all, let's go down here in the appearance, don't show this, don't make this visible on page load. But when the, in conditionals, I want to say when the file, when a file is the file uploader is loading, I do want to show this. And so to do that, I found file uploader a, which I, we have drawn on the page now file uploader a. And then as you can see, there's this value is loading. And then you want to say is yes. So if it is loading, then go into your select a property to change. So I'll undo this. This element is visible. Checkbox. Uh, now, if you can copy this expression, uh, right click, copy, right click, paste this expression. Whoops. Let me edit, undo that. Right click, copy, right click, paste this expression. And, but you actually want to say no. Uh, so now when the file is not loading, it don't make this element, make this element not visible. So again, same thing here where we find elements not visible, check that. So something that we use a lot, uh, those kinds of uh, visible or not visible uh, things on the page all the time in Bubble. So maybe that was a review for you, but now you know how this full setup is working. So the final step is to make sure that we've drawn the HTML5 video player on the page. So we want to draw that on the page and then go into uh, this section for dynamic link. And we're going to set a dynamic link in here. So what I did is I did, I went, um, I did a search for a file. So the do a search for command. And then I set the type to be file. And then I set the tag to be video. Uh, so however you're saving the video MP4 file, you want to reference it within here. Uh, just, I'm just showing you what I did. You can reference it in a different way. Uh, this is how I'm organizing the files in my database in this situation. So you could copy this word, this exactly and do the same thing. So I said, do a search for video, uh, search for a file whose tag is video, show the first item. And I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to change this to say item number two's file, because we're going to, uh, I've already uploaded a video file to test this, as you can see right here. Uh, and we're going to now reference the second file that hasn't been uploaded yet. So this is going to not no longer be displaying something, but I'm going to add a video. One more point to uh, make before we, uh, we move into actually uploading a file and demoing the system that we built. So in the file uploader, we still have this max file size limit. Uh, that we're setting individually. And the reason that you might want to set this is because you're paying for server space on Amazon Web Services. Even though we're not paying directly to Amazon, we are still paying Bubble, which is paying, who is paying Amazon. So, so if we're using more servers, we're going to spend more money. So that's one of the reasons that you might want to limit the file size here, uh, just so you don't have tons and tons of data. Um, that's uploaded directly on your server, especially if it's all video, because as you know, video can take up a lot of uh, data or as you may know. So now I'm going to expand this file size and we're going to increase this. I'm going to set it to, uh, so it was previously, let's, let's just go with 4,000 megabytes. So that's quite, quite large. Um, 
file and uh, now we have a bigger limit and we can test this out. So I'm going to now upload a video file directly in here as an MP4 and we'll test it out. Let me scroll down really quick. And let's do with one of these. Let's see, bulk operations. How long is this video? 10 minutes long. That video is only 50 seconds. We'll do one that's moderately long. See, that's a little too long. I don't want to wait that long. We'll go with this 10 minute video. So click on open. And here it goes. So we will wait. I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. So we'll skip ahead until it's done loading and then we'll see, we'll watch the magic happen. Okay, so the file has officially uploaded. Um, something else that we could add later uh, is an alert to say, hey, the file's uploaded. Uh, for us right now, internally, we can see that the file name is inside of here and it reached 100 so we're good to go so i'm going to click on save the file and we will reload the page to make sure that it's working now so as we can see the new video is now loading and we can press play there we go i'm going to just turn that that volume off as you can see we have no external branding on this video it's uploaded directly to Amazon Web Services uh, and then into our application. So we're all good to go. You guys are done and you can display, you can use this same element, this HTML5 video player on different areas of your app. And then, um, and then you can display those different videos that users have uploaded or you've uploaded. Uh, so this was super helpful. And now you guys know one more, you have one more tool in your belt to make a really awesome app. I strongly encourage you to check out our website at newagedevelopment.bubbleapps.io. The link will be down below this video and create an account on our website. You can access our private forum where we regularly visit to answer questions about bubble development to help you get unstuck. If you get stuck and you have a bug in your website, or your app, or if you're looking for advice on getting clients as a web developer, we also talk about that. Uh, anything related to bubble development, you'll find in there. And the goal of this website is to turn you into an expert uh, and give you the tools that you need and the skills to be able to build any kind of website or application that you want uh, online and uh, be able to, you can unleash your creativity online. That's our goal. So definitely want to see you there. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there.